Hood here, and today I've got the episode 3 and uh, the strategy guide for you guys. Um, we're going to be doing Detroit S&D today. Um, it's going to be the first map mode combo we do, and uh, basically I just want to show you guys basic zone strategy and all that stuff. Um, it's similar to what me and my team do uh, for competitive, but uh, like I've said previously, I'm not going to be showing the exact strategies that uh, me and my team use, just because... Uh, I don't want to be playing against somebody who one day realizes, you know, hey, I've seen this guy's strategy videos and I know exactly how he and his team play, so we can easily win. But yeah, anyways, zone strategies, uh, here we go. Defensive side, you don't want to send for the first zone. Uh, somebody who's pretty decent with a stra uh, like some kind of uh, scoped weapon, whether it be a thermal amelie or a sniper, either or, uh, or any other thermal uh, LMG that you guys like. Um... This is the first peak spot. Easy to get picks. Um, I say easy, but to be entirely honest, uh, the other side, the offensive side, has a slight advantage over you guys, uh, mainly because they have two different spots that they can shoot you from, whereas you only have this one. Um, so you need to decide really quickly whether you're going to be coming from there or there, or you can just like do what I sometimes like to do, is peek back and forth. Um, this could be the first zone. Um, you can either snipe that, or if you want, you can come in through this back door and just hold it through here by laying down or coming into a corner and crouching. Um, I like to do this. You can also come up into this corner, although it is pretty risky because sometimes they might be able to peek you a little bit and see you, or they may even just see you go in that corner without you noticing. Um, so yeah, and that is it for the Alrighty, now for the second zone. zone, you're gonna want somebody going into medic or hospital or whatever it is you like to call this place. My team calls it medic. Uh, you're either gonna want him to push up and sit on mid, or actually go inside of medic um now you decide what you want to do once you're in medic you can either just chill right here and watch uh the mid window and lay down here or you can actually push on through if you push on through you're going to want to head glitch this first um just because a lot of times somebody with uh lightweight and uh, uh overclock could beat you here um like i said it's all about uh you know whatever you want to do uh since this is his own strategy you basically just have this area to yourself. You decide what you want to do inside of it. Like I said, head glitch this first, though, if you are going to push. Very nice spot right here. Uh, very good. And uh, Alrighty. Going to for this now for zone number three, you're going to want somebody going mid-street. This person needs to be exceptionally good with a sniper rifle. Not even just above average, exceptionally good. We have a player just like that on our team, fortunately, so we don't have to worry about it. This guy is going to be peeking mid-street. He's also going to be peeking over here closet you can also be peeking elbow if he needs to if he really wants to be pretty awesome whenever he pushes up he could first go here and try to pick the guy that stands on their top platform and their spawn i don't really recommend that because it is pretty hard to snipe to hit especially since they're going to be there way faster than you get there so they're going to have pre-aimed on you already um so generally speaking your zone is going to consist of this small area right here um, uh, if you really want to, you could even try to push up onto stairs or even further, but to be entirely honest, it's not the best idea. So, like I said, behind this pillar, one of your best options, uh, you watch elbow and mid-street, garage window and closet. That's going to be Ready. it for about zone Now three. for zone four, you're going to want somebody going, uh, B-side. Um, B-side, if you go through this area, you need to knee-slide. 100% you need to knee-slide. Like, I don't know if you want to practice this or anything, but 100% knee slide through that because if you do, you're going to you're gonna bust through it a little bit faster than you would if you're running because generally they're going to have somebody peeking it on the sniper spot. You want to knee slide through there, you just get through it fast, easy, and safe. What you're going to want to do is either head glitch the bomb, you can come in here and watch window, or you can even go pit. Um, the only time I would... Uh, recommend going pit is if you have lightweight overclock with some form of an smg or maybe a knife if you're running knife like if you're running with your knife um if you go pit you have so many options that you can do though you can head glitch this um you can come over here into this corner you can go into really any corner of this one as well uh or if you really are feeling pretty ballsy you can push up uh i don't really recommend that uh snd generally want to play a little bit slower but like i said it is just a zone, so you play it however you like it. Those are just the four zones for defense. Uh, it basically covers the entire map. 
And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for defense. We're going to go over to offense now. I'm going to show you guys how that works. Out. Alrighty, guys. So now we're here on the offensive side of Detroit. Uh, we're going to be going over and showing you guys the A push first. The very first zone you're going to be getting on lock is this yellow building. Okay, you're going to want to be checking the exact same side, the zone that I showed you guys on the other side. This knife right here is going to be your main point that you want to get a pick off of. Uh, after you check that, you're going to want to check bomb head glitch, cone, and jump spot over there. Alright, the jump spot is going to be really heavily used by a lot of the, by a lot of teams. Also, the head glitch on this, uh, whatever it is, trash can I guess you want to call it. A lot of people like to go there as well, as well as lay down behind it. So every now and then you might see a guy laying right there behind there. Um, generally speaking, either you are going to want to have the bomb or the guy in zone 2, which I'm going to show you guys here in just a second, is going to want to have the bomb. One of you two need to have it. And uh, yeah, we're going to go over to zone 2 now. Alrighty guys, so zone 2, you're going to want to have somebody covering medic or hospital, whatever it is you'd like to call it. Um, he's going to want to push up. Um, if you call people out coming this way, he can either jump and head glitch this or come back on here and head glitch this just to make sure nobody pushes you while you're in a gunfight. Um, mainly what he's going to be wanting to do is clear and control medic. Um, he needs to run in here as fast as possible so that he beats the player on the other team. Um, he doesn't really have any outstanding head glitches he can use to protect himself so that's why he needs to get in here as quickly as possible and beat the other player. What you're going to do is quick check that then go to window and then come back over to closet. Um, this is going to be your general zone you want to hold under control. Um, if the player in uh, yellow calls out somebody green, what you could or may want to do is come into closet and kill said player. Uh, once you do that, it's going to be much easier for you to get a control. After that, all you have to do is hold this side of the map because this side is now on your side. Um, that's pretty much it for zone 2. Other than that, you may want to look uh, stairs and window once you check window. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Alrighty hey guys, zone so three zone 3 is going to be the sniper zone. You're going to be on top of this building, checking the uh, cross to B. Uh, a lot of the times, uh, if you guys want to change rotation, if A is not working out, you may want to rotate to B. This guy is incredibly important because he can tell you how many have crossed to the B side of the map. If you noticed, you literally cut the map in half with this sniper. You can see anybody who goes to this side of the map. You can get to this spot from your spawn in about a half a second. So you will see everybody and anything that decides to move to the opposite side of the map, that is the B side. You're going to see anybody who crosses inside the B building, anybody who crosses Ministry, anybody who goes into Alice. Literally anything that goes over there you will see. If you only see one person go over there, you can just tell your team, hey, there's only one that crossed, or none have crossed, or only two have crossed. You guys could decide to rotate B instead. Um, really, you need somebody who's really good with a sniper because you're going to want to be able to get that pick. And like I said, on the offensive side, the cross is extremely fast, so you need to be having extremely good reaction time. Um, the other spots you need to be checking are going to be stairs, the guy sitting at pillar, and just general mid-street. You're going to be making sure nobody crosses, and if they do, that you kill them or at least call them out to your teammates so that they know where they're at. Um, so yeah. Alrighty, guys, so zone, zone 4, four is going to be... Uh, you know, I would say an AR player. Um, I haven't really called out guns for anything else, but this definitely is important for the type of gun you're going to be using. Um, you definitely need to be having an AR because you're going to be pushing garage. You are the flank player in this case. You're going to be wanting to watch all of these like medium to long range sites or whatever. So you're going to be watching uh, stairs, school stairs, school window, uh, the full flank. Um, until your team is like safely in A, you're not going to want to really move off of the flank at all. Um, you're just going to want to hold it. So you either play your zone back here, or you can play it up here. Or if you really would like to play pretty gutsy and ballsy, you can move even over into the closet just to clear some sites. Um, either to call people out or to get picks. Um, that's pretty much it for that Boys, now we're going to be going over B base. Um, first zone for this side is going to be the flank play. We're doing it the other way around. So flank play, you're going to want to chill right here because you can see the entire flank. You can see if anybody crosses over to yellow or you can see if people peek from medic. Um, you're going to want to have some form of a scoped weapon, so either thermal melee or a sniper. Um, I would honestly recommend a thermal melee just because they are, they are and can get to be short range gunfights. So if you're using a sniper and you're, you know, if you're just above average with it, you're not going to have a lot of fun back here because you're probably going to get picked off pretty easily. And uh, that was a lot of peace in that sense, so it was pretty hard to get out. Anyways, so yeah. 
flank player is going to want to watch this. Literally no pushing up beyond this, like, this point. There is no point. You don't go, you don't need to go up in yellow. You sit right here. If you would also like to do, you can come up here and watch. Or you can even come on over here and watch. But no going into this alley, no going into yellow. There's no point. You're putting yourself at risk and your team at risk by giving up this flag if you do so. Because there is a high chance you could die since you're the only player over there by yourself. Okay, so next and zone is going to no be good. zone 2. It's going to be the sniper. You're going to want to be over here. <clears throat> Same job as before. You're going to be watching the mid. I, I advise you back up a little bit because uh, there may not be... Uh, you know, the guy who's watching your flank may not be able to kill that person on in time. So just back up a little bit so you're safer. Um, if he calls him out, you can back up a little bit more. You can still watch the cross from here. Um, you're going to be able to see the cross. You can tell how many people cross. Um, you're the deciding factor once again. Um, you can tell them, hey, three people crossed B. Let's turn back around and go back to A. Or, hey, nobody's crossed to B. Or only one person has crossed to B. Let's keep going that way. Um, you're going to be the deciding factor. Uh, after a little bit... Um, you're going to want to push up with the two guys who planted, and the flank player is going to push up with you as well to mid-street, but you are going to go through the garage. Um, you're going to go through the garage to back up your teammates, basically just in case one of them dies, it uh, helps out everything else. So that's pretty much it for zone 3. Alrighty, zone 3 and zone 4 we're going to do together, basically, because they run the path together uh, if you're going to go to base B. Um, Players 3 and 4 can go through either one of these. It honestly does not matter really at all. Um, or you can split them up if you really think it matters because some people may honestly get here in time to play you at a gunfight. You're going to want to check everything out first. You could maybe send somebody closet to check out mid-street. Or you can keep just on pushing like both you guys. Uh, just full-fledged rush B. Um, what you're going to do is send one guy in, not both at the same time because you don't want to get two piece. Send one guy in to check everything. He may or may not get a kill. Um, if he at least hurts the guy, the, the second guy needs to push immediately after and uh, get the cleanup. Um, I, after that, you need to Im like be immediately planting. At this point, the uh, back sniper should already be pushing back and your flank player should be pushed up to mid, so you guys should have some decent control. Um, and that's pretty much going to be it for me. Alrighty guys, so like I said, I was gonna show you guys some pretty nice bomb spots that you can uh, plant at. There's, pretty, there's a couple of really good ones for both sides on this map. Um, to be honest, um, if you wanna plant safe, planting B, uh, this side is always really good. However, there aren't any real good plant spots except for if you get like right here in the intersection But it's pretty hard to hit just because you have to plant so close to the base But if you want you can try to uh, watch it from over there, but like I said, it's pretty difficult to do so I'll show you guys here right now even with a thermal scope It's not the easiest thing in the world don't really have a good shot on them anyways you really only would be able to see if they come into it because you won't really be able to like see high enough if they're laying down diffusing um so it's it's a decent spot but it's not really the best um if you want to get a little reckless though you could always plant right here and you can watch from inside green or mid street or really anywhere that can see this area um yeah and that is pretty much it for b base um you could also plant on this corner and uh, watch from, you know, over there, but eh, it's not even that creative, to be honest. Really, this is my favorite one out of the, the three spots I just showed you. I love watching it from green. You have a sniper, anything that's scoped. You honestly don't even need that. You have an AR, you're pretty solid. Um, and you can just chill in the corner right there on the benches and peek it every now and then. Or don't, not even do that. Play even safer and back up into it. Just check it every five, six seconds or so. And yeah, that's pretty much it for B. You can go over to A right now. Best spot's going to be as far edge, you'll be able to see it from yellow, um, as well as in there. Um, I also like plant, like, you know, like I said, anything right here on this corner side, you can watch it from both that way and that way. So they have to check a ton of different corners. Plant here, you'll be able to see if they're coming in from that way. Um, if you plant this side, you'll be able to see from inside there. That is extremely safe place to plant. As soon as you plant, you just run straight in here. Sit on this wall, sit on this wall, sit on this wall. You can do anything with it you want, be creative, all that good stuff. You literally just keep on poking out and checking it. It's so easy. Um, and that's pretty much it for this map. Hope you guys enjoyed the Badger Guide video. 
If you do, be sure to come back for more. We're going to be showing more maps. We're going to be going in order on S&D. I'm not sure which ones we're going to be doing next, but S&D is the game we're going to be finishing out before we go on to any others. Um, we're probably going to be adding in the new map. Um, I believe it's called Drift and taking out Biolab, so I may not even do a Biolab video just because they're going to be taking out competitive entirely. But yeah, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, like comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. Um, as far as S&D goes, whether it be um, maybe more choke points, um, if you liked the uh, plant points that I showed you guys, if you liked that, let me know. Um, and other than that, uh, as always, peace.